Uh, g'day everybody on the YouTube channel here, of course, and subscribers and lurkers. <laughs> lurkers. Look, uh, we're just doing a quick uh, thing on Brownlow Caravan Park and what has recently happened. And of course, I'm sure that everybody would be surprised about it. So we're just going to quickly go in and uh, see Helen and Co, as they say. And she's the owner of this caravan park, of course, and get the lowdown and feedback. So since it's open, so we're going to go through. Oh, here we go. We're going around this way. We can hear her. This is the wonderful Helen of the Brownlow Caravan Park. Say hello, Helen. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. How are we today? Great. <laughs> Good Great. to hear. Good to hear. Now, what we're doing for the uh, YouTubers today is we're just going to ask you a few simple questions, which is very easy, nothing intrusive or personal. And then we're going to walk around the ca caravan park a little bit and show them a little bit of a disaster that's recently happened that some people might not know of called a big, massive tree falling over. So that's going to be our highlight to end it all. So there you go. Would you like to come through as, you, as a guest? Yep. Our office? All right. We'll go. Leave the way. Come through. Okay, we're going in. Come through. Here we go. As you can see, there's quite a little bit of a setup in here. <laughs> so we'll have a look around. Quite nice. A lot of people, uh, especially from over state like America and all that sort of stuff, uh, you obviously don't know too much about this. So um, this uh, Caribbean Park has been set up. Um, in conjunction with letting you guys and girls come over here and stay and visit and tour around in safety and comfort So this is part of what we have and of course here's a little desk you stand behind when you first come in Oh, I'm hearing the, bat, the, the buzzer here. I'll shut this door a bit, bit more And of course I've got a few little essentials here as you can see like your little shampoos and conditioners and all stuff Another cute little mini fridge, you know if you ever get thirsty for your soda and whatnot And of course yeah, it's all good all good now very quickly Helen. How long has this caravan park been around for? I think he was here before I was born. Oh, <laughs> so we're really looking at wrong. quite a few years. Yes. And of course, you ended up taking it over and... Uh, Nine years ago. Nine years. Yeah. And what has been your, your greatest challenge about this caravan park since you've been, since you've opened it? Like, sort of, since you've taken over it, should I say? What would you say is your greatest challenge on it? Uh, the greatest challenge yeah. is just to ensure that everything's in order. Okay, so possibly from safety to maintenance and all sort of stuff. Yep. Yes. And I heard recently you just got, got all the solar stuff put on and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it was a, a few years ago, yeah, yeah, we won awards for that. Um, okay. That's why we got hot water. What? Oh, look, you can't... Oh, that's you can't <laughs> You can't, have, you can't have showers of that without hot water, seriously. If the, if the tourists are going to come over, especially from our American friends on the YouTube and, and everywhere else from around the country, if they come over and they're not going to get their warm or hot showers, there's going to be hell to pay. I've <laughs> so. always got water here. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of a look around here too, guys. I've got a few things here. I'll try to zoom in on some stuff here, as you can see. Look at that, that's pretty cool, huh? Now we've got a lot of, uh, looks like a lot of Greek stuff here yes. as well. Uh, Helen comes from that particular place. Cyprus. Cyprus, Born it would be Cyprus, called. Born in Venus. Cyprus. So obviously there's a little bit of Cyprus here that goes with uh, what's happening. And of course, as you can see, she's put it all together and displayed it. So when you come in, you've got a nice little feel. Have like an alarm going off. Hang on, we'll see if and we can control that for a second, people. Just hold on. That's got it. And all my gifts from all over. These are all gifts. These yep. ones here. These ones here are all gifts from guests of okay. mine, uh, letters they sent me, cards they sent me, photos. Cool. So a lot of them are gifts from my guests. So obviously when they come over, they well, there's a nice little shell thing that obviously someone's given you. Yes. That's quite cute. Paid on quite cute. yes. There's a few things and I treasure that. Yeah, that's the way to go. I mean, if you've got people that, you know, when they come over and they stay and they actually care about what's going on, you know, and the next minute, you know, you've got some things being given back to you, as I say. And there's a, this is a couple from France. Their honeymoon, they had it here in a, one of our one bedroom honeymoon unit. Okay. Someone else made a card, took photos of me, uh, feeding the pelicans. That was a few years younger. Ah, there you go, people, look at this. <laughs> a bit of pelican feeding. Okay. And, of course, awards. Got some awards happening here. Buy hot water. And of course we've got hot water. That's we amazing. got hot water. <laughs> Come through. Yeah, yeah. We've got, now people will go out very quickly and uh, have a look outside and see about this tree that's going on. And Well, the tree, uh, we've got a gorgeous uh, neighbour. Of course, before we who, get to that, we'll look at a few things. <laughs> yeah, we are uh, here who came in today to inspect it. And right. he is so excited to get all this beautiful wood. <laughs> ah. 
So this is our barbecue area. You've been here before. Um, yeah. Got a couple of gas barbecues. Yeah. Uh, somewhere you can cook. Unfortunately, a full oven has gone, so we're waiting for a new one. What, I someone take it or it no, just... It had its little time. Oh, okay. So it, had did, its it time. decided to decease itself and just go yeah. quit, quits and get Rust, um, the because we live 50 metres from the beach, so right. a lot of things rust here. Okay, and cool. And that was the second oven of 49 right. years. So oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, Not bad for nine years. Uh, we've got a great pot belly there. Um, we have a lot of... This is very cute. Beautiful <laughs> nights here. Yeah. Uh, provide some of the wood uh, as much as we can. Well, you've got a tree down now. You might be able to get a little bit of extra wood out of it. <laughs> I'll give some to my friend and the rest um, I will bring it here. And I do, I'll have some for here. And this is quite a nice little area actually here where people can come in and have their food and set themselves up with a little microwave there. They can come in and eat and sit down at the table and relax. It's very nice, and especially over night time if you've got that little uh, pot belly stove going on over there, you can just sort of chuck it on and everybody's good to go as I say. So yeah. Okay, we'll move away. Alrighty. Always someone doing washing. Always someone doing washing. Kathleen, how are you? Good, so we've got male, female toilet, laundry, cat yep. kitchen, and our gorgeous, gorgeous tree. This is the tree everybody that's come down, it's fallen down. Yeah, Disaster no strikes the Brownlow no Caravan no Park. <laughs> Lucky that no was there. Well, that's right. If there was a van Jeff or a car was, under it, <laughs> Jeff was here. So lucky Jeff was here. And, okay. Um, the guys were on the other side. Ah. But it is pretty. Wow. So, it's a nice tree. It's a pity it's sort of fallen I, down. And I think it's probably hard. The roots aren't very big on it though. No. So it's sort of, yeah, a bit, bit crazy as they say. Look at that, nice wood. That's very good wood. You could cut that down a bit and make stuff out of it. But it looks like it's it's really ripped it up from below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, goodness. It is deep. It's got a bit of a hole down below. Oh, beautiful sand. That's the thing I've noticed about uh, Kangaroo Island compared to other places like on the mainland and other places when trees seem to grow and stuff like that, there seems to be like a sandy type of texture uh, on the soil rather than just straight dirt or soil. It seems to be a combination more of sand and, and, and the soil, so which is I think is a rather unique sort of feature to the to the island here. So yeah, it's pretty a little bit different. So but this is a big tree. Like if you I'll go back Healthy. a bit so people can see it. It's yeah. big and it and it's healthy, but Five. <laughs> right See, there's okay. a difference. That's a big tree. Lucky no one was underneath it. Because for those who don't know, there was quite a big storm that came through earlier, uh, a few days ago, or probably about four, four or so days ago, and it ripped through here. The storm ripped through, and this tree, of course, seemed to catch the wind tunnel through it, and it got absolutely hammered. And um, yeah, it was just from there on in, it just went. So yeah, lucky no one's under it. I'd say. I don't know how many locals know about this, but. Luckily, I mean, I guess if someone got hit by it or underneath the caravan, everyone would then know. Everyone would know. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, normally, so. I don't put people under trees in winter. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Not if but storms come through. We try to keep our trees for our tents, our motorhomes, our camper trailers, our swags. Um, as you can see, it's quite a big park. Yep. And this is the most glorious day we've had for a while. It's actually it's very nice and sunny. It's and just gorgeous, nice and green. Nice and green, yep, yep. I just nice. noticed that about the turf, it's actually, it's good. And it's serene. <laughs> Very nice place. It's serene. Right. Actually, yeah, we could have a little playground there. <laughs> you could put a, you could probably put a playground there, like a little thing. I don't for, know how all the guests would like that. Oh, yeah. But I'm, we do have a nice playground there for our, our kids, our Oh, families. yeah, just over here. Yes. It's easy, everything's easy here. We'll zoom in so people can see it. There's a little playground people that was talking about. That's pretty cute actually with the wooden frame and built and a couple of swings there. That's quite nice. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. Yeah, New Year is fantastic. Christmas, New Year, Easter, long weekends. 
we have groups, uh, we've had, we have a lot of groups that come through, not only for uh, units and they take over the whole park. Yep. Big groups <laughs> from universities. Um, we take unpowered sites, powered sites. And I've entertained here. I've had the Greek flag and the Australian flag here for my guests. For okay. Different clubs. Cool, cool. The Probus Club. Yeah, yeah. Um, the units can fit with sofa beds and sofas and all that, 18 units, mm. all different style. 100 people I worked out. So that's wow. just the units. But you sleep on the sofa bed or something that, bring, that I'll bring through. Well, there you go, YouTubers and subscribers and lurkers. <laughs> I keep calling you lurkers because most of you just view it and don't do much else. But definitely leave comments, suggestions and likes. And of course, um, click on my little hero icon that will come up. That goes straight to my channel and that lets you subscribe to me. And click the like button and definitely share the video around. Of course, you know, sharing is caring, as they say. And uh, yeah, you might see another video come up as well uh, that's linked in a little box there. Definitely do that. Have a great day, guys and girls. And we'll talk to you later. Peace out.